So here's the Marshes library set. And as we lift up, you actually realize that all the shelves aren't the same width. The back six are actually skinnier. The reason for this is because in the finished film, you're only ever seeing it from this angle. So I was able to cheat a little bit and save myself a lot of time by just building the first two full width and the rest could be a lot skinnier because that's all you'd see in the shot. First thing I always do is build a character because this will help you judge when building the set how big it needs to be in relation to them. The shelves were actually built out of foam card which is a really nice light material. And then came the books. In total I handmade almost 450 books for this set. They were all made of card and paper. I'd start by scrunching up a bit of card and then laying it flat out to give it that kind of leathery texture. I used some packaging card for the interior and then used some double-sided sticky tape to put it all together. The finishing touch was a few little strips of card for the spine of the book and I'd later paint them. I didn't need to paint the pages side of the book because that wouldn't be seen in the film, so I just focused on the other three sides. I researched the actual Marsh's library a lot for those little details such as the raised wood panelling just with a bit of card as well as these plaques that are at the end of the shelves they're kind of that greeny cream kind of color so I just added a few of them in uh, in the same place. Next came the typewriter so I knew I'd need a big version for the close-ups and then a smaller version to fit the characters. I used a light piece of card to get the curve on the front, old scrap card for the actual sides and the buttons and then I just painted it up with some metallic paint. I didn't have a backdrop big enough for the big typewriter, so I shot that separately and then combined it with a close-up of the set for the finished shot. Finally, I made a miniature typewriter to fit the size of the characters and painted it up in a metallic color to match the large one. Then came the characters. So my first short with Dracula was the kind of classic Dracula with the high cape and the waistcoat, whereas for this one I wanted to go more academic with a bow tie and a brown tweed jacket. Dracula was first published in 1897. So for my other characters, I made sure to set them in that time period. The clothes and hairstyles were the biggest indicator of this. I particularly enjoyed making this guy's handlebar mustache. I based my Bram Stoker on some old photographs, making sure just to capture his kind of bushy beard and sort of bulky figure. Thanks so much for watching this making of video. Uh, be sure to check out more Necromancer episodes on Instagram. You can find us at Necromanced. Thank you.